Let's praise God that it's already done. Jesus won the victory for us 2,000 years ago. So let's praise God for the victory that's already been given. Amen. You can lift your hands right now and begin to praise Him for who He is and what He has done and the authority that He's put in you, the authority that He's put in me. Praise God. Praise God. He's given the earth to the sons of men. Glory to God. And He came back fresh from His victory over death, hell, and the grave. And He said, All authority has been given unto me both in heaven and in earth. Now, you go therefore and you teach all the nations and you teach them everything that I've commanded you. Amen. That's what we're going to do. In the name of Jesus, we are changing nations right now. We are changing this world, this whole world system because of what we are going to say. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we make our declaration. We take our stand right now. We declare that the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead is in us. And that, that word is quickening our mortal bodies. It's also quickening the bodies of those that are around us in Jesus' name. We declare that our bodies are safe. We declare that our families are safe. We declare that our neighborhoods are safe and our cities are safe in the name of Jesus. Our nation right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for President Trump. We pray for Vice President Pence. We pray for the entire team as they go about making decisions in the name of Jesus. We pray for the whole body politic and all of society right now in the name of Jesus. We come against the confusion that is wrought by the spirit of division that has come over this nation in the name of Jesus. That is not of God and we declare it unlawful right now in the name of Jesus. Coronavirus, you are dead to us. You are powerless to us. Even if we come in contact with you, you have no authority over us. You are not going to cause us to be sick. You are not going to cause us to lose any more work, lose any sleep. You are not going to steal our joy. In the name of Jesus, we are victorious in this end time hour. Glory to God. We surely are. I say to everyone under the sound of my voice that all is well with you and your family, with your church, with your company, with your city, with your state, with your nation, with the things that you are involved in. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. And I say in the name of Jesus, if you are where God wants you to be right now, then that was born of God and it overcomes the whole world system in the name of Jesus. There will not be lack. There will not be shortage. People will not lose their retirements in the name of Jesus. We are rising up in his authority to be able to conquer the works of the enemy. And just like I was hindered at this particular time from going over to the nation of Thailand to minister to the people there, it's going to be even greater when I do get there. Paul also said that I wanted to come to you time and again, but Satan hindered me. He was hindered, but in the end, he was more victorious. We just declare right now that God always gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Praise God. We are victorious in this hour. We are the people of God. And it shall be shown that there is a God in Israel. There is a God in the church. Praise God. And he will be exalted. And we speak to revival in this nation in Jesus' name. We declare that there are people that are turning on their television set or their radios and listening to Christian programming that they had no intention of listening to and their hearts are being changed, they're being born again, they're being filled with the Holy Ghost, they're being healed in Jesus' name. I speak to sickness, disease, infirmity, malady and pain in the name of Jesus and I command you go! Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God, thank you Lord. Praise God. Right now, if you're sick, if you're in doubt, if you're depressed, if you're in fear, if you are in quarantine, I say that all is well. Hallelujah. All is well. All is well in Jesus' name. I want you right now to lay hands on yourself. The Bible says we can lay hands on the sick. Well, the reason that works is because we have the power of God in us. We are recognizing that. Our bodies are the temples of the Holy Ghost. And when we lay hands on somebody else, they are coming in contact with the power of God. They really are. 
And so to acknowledge that right now, to acknowledge every good thing which is in us in Christ Jesus, just lay hands on yourself and just say this. Say, this is my body. This is the temple of the Holy Ghost. This is God's house. This is where God chose to dwell in the year 2020. Praise God. The Bible says, that Jesus took my infirmities and bore my sicknesses and what he took I don't have to take what he bore I don't have to bear therefore I speak to sickness disease infirmity weakness and pain in Jesus name and I say to you Go now in Jesus' name, never to return. The Word of God says that I'm to sanctify myself, spirit, soul, and body unto the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. I do that by submitting to His Word right now. I take His Word and I apply it to myself and the word also says that by his stripes by his wound I was healed if I was healed I am healed and so I walk in divine health every day of the world the word says the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead quickens, makes alive, and heals my mortal body. Thank God for the quickening life of God's Spirit that's at work in me right now, making me well, keeping me well. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Listen, if God touched you in your body, God touched you in your mind. I want you to give me your testimony. You can seal your healing that way. You can also be a blessing to somebody else as we share the goodness of God with others. I'm so glad that we could spend this time together. Thanks for listening. God bless you. Just remember this, that you, my friend, are God's ambassador. You're his representative on the earth. Bye for now.